Hi guys, welcome to the Orgy One Quick Start video. My name is Paul and my goal today is to enable you to set up your own robotic mission in less than 30 minutes. The accessory box contains all the necessary components to start using the Origin 1. We suggest using it to safely store the auxiliaries when not in use. As well as allowing you to transport them on external missions. The autonomous Origin 1 is shipped with three Aruka markers with unique IDs. The markers are used to set up autonomous missions, enabling the robot to load a map and start navigating. Every Origin 1 comes equipped with a built-in reels and depth camera, while the autonomous Origin 1 comes equipped with an Ouster 3D LiDAR as a pre-mounted add-on. Both sensors are used by the Autopilot software for creating maps and navigating autonomously. When the robot is not in use, you can simply plug in the charger at the rear of the robot. When plugged in, the charging starts automatically. Don't drive while charging the Origin 1 and make sure to replace the waterproof cap when finished charging. Turn on the Origin 1 by pressing the power button on the user interface panel. The signal lights will blink to indicate the booting sequence has started. Depending on the state of the emergency stops, the booting will finish with red or green signal lights. The Origin 1 is equipped with two onboard emergency stops and one remote e-stop. Pressing an e-stop will activate an emergency stop by cutting power to the motors and locking the front wheels. Simply twist and release the active e-stop to disengage. All three e-stops need to be disengaged before the robot is operational. The display on the user interface panel indicates some basic telemetry of the robot. It shows battery status, GNSS status, Wi-Fi reception and mobile reception. You can navigate through the status menus using the navigation buttons to see more details. To turn off the robot, simply press the power button. The signal lights will blink to indicate the shutdown sequence has started. The Orgy 1 can be manually controlled using the prepared remote controller. Press the PS4 button to power the controller. On the back, a light will blink to indicate pairing. Once solid blue, the remote is connected. Let's go over the basic controls. The left joystick is used for forward and backward motion. The right joystick controls the rotation of the robot. Pressing X releases the manual control mode allowing autonomous driving. Circle engages the manual control allowing you to operate the robot. Press and hold L1 to engage boost mode for higher speeds. Let's go for a drive. Always lift the origin with two people as the weight is roughly 30 kilograms. First, let's install Cerebra Studio, Avro's mission planning software. The installer files have been shared with you upon purchase. Follow the on-screen wizard to install the software. Once finished, start by connecting to the Wi-Fi access point of the Origin 1. The access point is indicated by the name Origin plus its serial number. By default, it's not password protected. Once connected, the Origin will appear in Cerebra Studio. Click to connect. For setting up an indoor mission, we first need to create a map of the local environment. Navigate to the mapping mode in Cerebra. Make sure the robot is positioned in front of an Aruka marker at a distance of roughly half a meter. Now you can click start mapping. Now use manual driving to carefully map the environment. Note that during mapping, the speed and acceleration is limited. Returning to the mapping GUI, make sure you have covered all the areas of interest. Once you're satisfied with the map, Give it a name and save the map to the robot database. Next, you define a polygon on the map such that the outer pilot knows the boundaries of the map. Make sure to contain exterior walls inside the polygon. The polygon needs a minimum of 4 points to be saved. Once saved, return to Cerebra Studio and click Stop Mapping. Return to the home screen by clicking the top left red button. To create your first mission, navigate to the Mission Planner and start by adding a new location. Give the location a name and add the local map you just created. If the origin is positioned in front of the marker, it shows active for the latest map created with that marker ID. Next, create a job with a specific name and start adding tasks to the job in the desired order. For tasks, you can choose between follow path, 
go to waypoint, wait and cover area. In this video, we will show you go to waypoint and follow path. When you're happy with the planned mission, simply save it and send it to the robot. To run the autonomous mission, press the play button next to the active job name. A window will pop up to acknowledge you're ready to drive autonomously. Make sure to release manual control by pressing X on the remote controller. To show off the obstacle avoidance feature, we've placed unmapped objects into the environment. Depending on the size of the object and settings of the task, Autopilot will react accordingly. Thanks for watching the Origin One Quick Start video. I hope this helps you to set up your new Avlar product. If you still have any questions, just post them in the comments below. Next time we'll show you how to attach a custom payload as well as setting up an outdoor mission. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out.